Now here's my garden update. This is October 8th. Now last night we had a, a freeze that got down to 28 degrees. And yesterday I went through and pulled all the watermelon out that was right down over here. I took all the tomato plants up. And you can see how these leaves, they all turned kind of a real dark color because they froze last night. And same thing with the, the tomato plants, but there was all in here. The largest watermelon we pulled out was a rattlesnake variety, and it was 49 pounds. And I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, later in another video, we're going to be cutting up that gourd-looking watermelon, see what it looks like inside. And uh, we pulled all these up, so these are all up. And now these are the sweet potato vines, and you can see that frost last night killed all the pretty much killed the leaves off here so i'll be finished digging these up everything else is in uh watch for another video i'll show the uh all the uh, tomatoes that we've picked we got lots and lots of green ones giving away a bunch of them got a few more red ones uh, making some more tomato powder but that is that is the garden here so far from here down to here we've pulled out 180 pounds of uh, uh, sweet potatoes and so far, well, what we picked on, on a watermelon, uh, this year we've gotten 606 pounds of watermelon out of this garden. So that, that was pretty good. We have quite a bit of it, a couple hundred pounds. Not quite, but almost 200 pounds just in volunteer watermelon that came up. And uh, that, was, that was pretty good. So we had a couple of black diamonds I'd planted from a couple years later, earlier. And then there was uh, sugar babies we had in here and then the rattlesnakes. So that was the three varieties that we got up here. I'm not sure exactly what the volunteers was because those were seeds that come up just volunteer. So that's the update for today. And the uh, garden's just about done. I'm going to compost this here. We'll, we'll, once this dries up a little bit, we'll take with the mower, mow across here and mow up, mow up all these pieces so they mulch in a little bit better. And then there's my, my one compost pile right back there. I'll spread that around and then I'll till it in. This over here, the one side of it, or right about where our cat's at, he's coming over to say hi. Uh, it was really hard clay. Most of this is clay, so I need to compost in here for a couple more years to get this into a decent soil. Some of this other soil has it turned out pretty good because we've been composting in it ever since we've been here. So that's, that's the garden for now. So the task today is to finish digging up all the rest of the sweet potatoes.